Hi, Leslie Stocker. We're back with our third video on this little oak table. Uh, if you missed the first two, you can see them on my YouTube channel or on the blog. Uh, we went ahead and we did a wash of pure and original chalk paint, which um, I love, by the way, and uh, hopefully it's going to be available here in the U.S. soon. Um, so we're going to go ahead and finish this table. If you remember, it was just, it had never been painted. It had a light oak finish and we did a wash. Um, and you can see the technique on the, on my earlier video, but now we're going to seal it and then we're going to highlight the nice detailing and carving. So the first step before you add the dark wax, you add your clear wax and you're going to brush, brush it in. The reason you do your clear wax first is it seals the paint as well as um, keeps uh, too much dark wax from absorbing and staining your paint. As long as you put a, a layer of clear wax on first, if you change your mind or want to remove some of the dark wax, it's going to come right off. If you apply your dark wax to your paint, it's going to stain it and you're going to have a harder time. So uh, when you're adding uh, dark wax, you do not, you, you add it as close to the time that you apply the clear wax as possible. You don't let it dry. You don't wax your entire piece and then go back and dark wax. You do manageable sections. And again, a little dark wax goes a long, long way. That's my original can. Um, and I keep a couple brushes that I only use for dark wax. So as you look at this, you can see the nice carvings here, here, here. And that's what we're going to accentuate by pushing the dark wax into those areas. Once we get it how we like, and again, uh, it's just a little bit of experience here for me and, and personal preference for me to know when I like it, but that looks pretty good to me. Then I'm going to take my cloth and I'm going to wipe off the excess on the raised areas. So the dark wax will remain in the carvings, but the high points, I'm going to take it off. And that way, your shadows are going to help those nice details stand out. So we've uh, wiped off the dark wax. You can see in a couple of places it's lifted off some of the paint. Um, I might need to go back and add a little bit, a, a little bit more paint, um, but it's always best to wait until it dries to determine it because once it dries, once the solvent evaporates, it's going to dry lighter. The other thing is uh, once you put on your dark wax, that is the last step if you're happy. If you were to apply clear wax over this, it would remove the dark wax. So it's really working against yourself. Um, just remember, dark wax is the last thing you apply. If you've liked this video, be sure that you've hit the like button and also that you subscribe so you'll see our newest ones the next time they come out. And I'd like to know what you think about uh, using dark wax as far as um, an enhancement on your paint. If you've had any problems or just give me some feedback about what you think. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section below.